The Northwestern softball team is red hot. The Wildcats are 22 and 4. They've won 12 games in a row. Cats have appeared in six of the last seven NCAA tournaments. They are now up, as you can see, to sixth in the nation in the latest poll. One of three ranked Big Ten teams, including Michigan, the three time defending Big Ten regular season champs, visit Evanston this weekend. The games tomorrow and Saturday are here on the Big Ten Network. And Northwestern head coach Kate Drohan is today's big interview in her 21st season at the helm in Evanston. She joins us now. Uh, coach, let's start here. This is the best start that your team has ever gotten off to in your time at Northwestern. And to put that in perspective, you have had two teams make it to the College World Series. You're in the NCAA tourney seemingly every year. So you've had a really good program. Are you surprised that you are this good this year? You know, we're not surprised. We have a very veteran team um, led by a group of terrific seniors who have started almost every game in their career. So uh, we knew we could challenge them really early on with our non-conference schedule. And we're just really excited about how we've been able to finish off some of those games and really get some momentum heading into the conference season. You mentioned the challenging non-conference schedule, and it was really something. I mean, you had three straight weekends where you went to Florida and California and played absolute top level competition you're six and two against ranked teams this year so you didn't just play top level competition you beat a lot of them what did you learn about your team in that stretch i i learned that we in the moment our team was so tough you know we really threw a lot at them early on and they were completely unfazed by the venues we played in by our competition and honestly the the more we challenged them um the better we, the better we we grew as a team and uh it was we had some exciting moments but again all kind of gearing up for this big 10 conference season you have a fabulous pitcher in danielle williams she has thrown a no-hitter this year she threw a perfect game last year you go through the ncaa stat she's in the top 20 in innings pitched and strikeouts and ERA. She really is fabulous, and she's a former National Freshman of the Year, so she's been doing this now for you for four years. But, but give us a sense of kind of what it means to have an ace pitcher in this sport. We've had Danielle for four years, and you're right. She's got great stuff, like really dominant stuff, has a lot of different looks, um, so she could beat teams multiple times. But I feel like the difference with her this year and what's really setting her apart is her composure and her ability to finish games and her ability to pitch through traffic and, um, and just handle that big moment and that big stage. So we're excited about this weekend for sure. For those who don't understand this sport, maybe don't follow it closely and, and don't understand the workload, like how often can an ace pitcher pitch for you? You know, it, you, you can use them more often than you can typically in baseball, right? Um, but still, we're, we're looking to use her about every other day in the Big Ten season as we get going here. Okay. Uh, and I've noticed you use her some out of the bullpen as well. So what's the kind of balancing act there? It's all, it's all about pitch count and about matchups, really. Like mm -hmm. how often uh, she's seen certain hitters. We like uh, her lefty matchups. That's been really successful. So it's about using her in those moments where we've got to get one more out for the game or, or different scenarios like that. And, and again, she's been so, so tough in those moments. I mentioned it's your 21st year at Northwestern. Last spring, you became the winningest coach ever in Northwestern history, passing Sharon Drosdale, who was unbelievable, for whom the the stadium is named so uh, we know what an impact she made and you of course were her assistant what did it mean to become number one uh, in that category honestly i'm just honored to be able to 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 represent northwestern and to work with our program and what it means is that we've had a great staff throughout the years we've had great continuities in michelle gascoigne our pitching coach and carol drohan our, our hitting coach um, but I think most importantly, we've just had the opportunity to pitch some, to, to coach some great women, um, and, and we're really honored that they chose Northwestern. You mentioned Carol. She is your twin sister. That is an interesting dynamic, I can say, as a father of identical twins myself. The notion of them actually working together for 21 years is, uh, I'd, I'd like to see that in action, frankly. Uh, 21 minutes, I think, would be, uh, would be something special. How has that dynamic worked so well for the two of you? 
uh, I think it's two reasons. Number one, um, we're, we're, we're really, really different in terms of our coaching style. And then the second piece is, um, you know, our, 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 we don't take ourselves too seriously. You know, I think if you ask our team, they would definitely say it's, it's entertaining at times. Um, <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of trust there. Um, you know, and we like to think that we have really ingrained this family atmosphere in our program. So we're, we're just, we're thrilled to be able to, to work together. Yes, we talk a lot about family, but you are literally family, right? Not figuratively family. When you say it can be entertaining at times, in what ways? Um, well, she and I openly disagree in front of the team. So, so uh, that, that's, that's fun at times. Um, and you just got to figure it out. So I, I just love the dynamic that we have. Yeah, I, I remember uh, I saw a quote where she said something to the effect of, well, Kate's been bossing me around for, you know, our entire lifetimes, but now I get paid for it. So, uh, yeah. so, so this is just the, the normal M.O. Hey, on a, on a more serious note, I, I think, you know, when you guys were in the College World Series uh, for the couple years there, this story got a, a lot of publicity nationally, and, and maybe people don't even remember it, but, but the two of you were both... Uh, potential donors for your father, who has, who has subsequently passed away, but, but lived quite a while uh, after a kidney transplant, and, and you flipped a coin to decide who would donate the kidney, and, and you won, so it ended up being you, and, and again, uh, helped save your father's life at the time. Do your, do your players today know that story? Like, is it something that you talk about in any way? Um, you know, sometimes it comes up with um, recruits, um, you know, they'll, they'll ask about it, but we don't talk about it a lot. We try to do some work around um, um, organ donation and some awareness with that. But, um, no, it's not something that's brought up a lot. When you think back on that, that whole experience, what do you think about? Well, honestly, um, you know, we flipped a coin to decide who would have the opportunity, and I think I got the easier job in it. Um, Carol was tremendous in terms of supporting our family and, and helping us through that moment. But, um, you know, our father was a fighter, and he really taught us um, everything we know about the game. He taught us how to compete. He taught us how to respect the game. Um, you know, and that you, you can, you, the, the odds don't really matter. You got to play the game. And that's one thing that he really instilled in us. And I think that's why we have the perspective of really just taking it one pitch at a time and enjoying the moment. Well, I know he was your, your biggest fan and got to see your team literally on the biggest stage in the sport. I mentioned a couple College World Series bursts. It has been a while. Again, you've had a ton of success. You've been really close to getting back there. What will it take for this team to be the one that breaks through? You know, I love the journey we're on together as a team. Like I said, we have a great group of uh, veteran leaders, and that starts with Rachel Lewis. Um, and we have some great youth who've been instilled as well. But we've got to stay on our journey and really focus on how we can get better as a team and how we can, you know, respect every single game that we play in the Big Ten and prepare for it. But um, I like our chances. I like our chances a lot. And most of all, it's just really fun to go to practice every day. This team just loves competing. We love the game, um, and, and so it's been, it's been a lot of fun to really put this kind of hard work into it. I mentioned Michigan coming up this weekend, a, a huge showdown, as I said, a couple games here on the Big Ten Network. For those who are maybe just catching up on softball, and this will be the first set of games they've watched this year, give us a sense of what we should be watching in this matchup. Yeah, well, uh, as, a, as a Big Ten softball fan, I'm excited for this game. You're going to have two of the best pitchers in the conference facing each other. Um, just really two tough teams who I think have circled this weekend, and we've been really excited about this opportunity. But again, it's just a great opportunity for us to showcase what Big Ten softball is all about. Kate Rohan, the head coach of Northwestern Softball. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck this weekend and the rest of the way. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Go Cats.